the channel of choice. It's Sunday, good evening and welcome to yet another edition of The Assignment live on movie television and good evening to all of you that are watching us across the African continent through Africa Unite TV. My name is Costa Mwansa, I'm your moderator for the next one hour. We'll engage into debate as we interact with your viewers via Facebook on our Ask Movie page. If you're watching us across Africa, you're through to interact with us via Facebook. For those of you that are in Zambia, it's uh, through your mobile phone. You're getting through to the short code 3322 on any mobile network. Your password is TAS space, your message to 3322. Now, in the past one week, the debate on the removal of subsidies on fuel and maize seems to have dominated discussions, whether it's on minibuses, beer halls, churches, and many other places. Now, this follows the government's decision to scrap the Miller consumer subsidy on maize barely a month after the fuel subsidies that kept fuel pump prices stable for over a year was equally removed. For universities, the appeal was even more bitter to swallow as it culminated into students' protests with the call on government to rescind its decision because they claim it will hurt the many poor Zambians. It has taken the patriotic front government close to 18 months to realize that subsidies are not good for the country and the simple question is why now? This is what is expected to dominate the proceedings of tonight's edition of my program. And who better? than two great minds, young Zambians, who have all tested the political field. Both have been students, so the students, uh, they understand better and why the call for the students. And um, these two great minds are none other than Mao Sampa, who is Commerce Deputy Minister and Mater Member of Parliament, as well as Mojave Lungu, who has himself uh, worked under the ZDA, an economist himself, as well as spokesperson in the office of uh, the opposition president for MMD Nervous Number. Gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening, Costa, and good evening, viewers. Uh, good evening, uh, Costa, and uh, good uh, evening, viewers, and I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. First things first, I think uh, uh, I've I've basically uh, reviewed what has happened in the last, you know, one week. The, all, the nation almost getting uh, into turmoil because whether it's 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 an understanding or misunderstanding, but different views on this matter. Let's quickly begin with you, Minister. Uh, from your perspective as a government, let's begin with subsidies themselves. What what is a subsidy? Costa, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Yeah. The last time I was here, I was predicting that uh, it was a rest to Monday interview, and I was saying we we'll march to state house mm -hmm. to take over, which we did. Yeah. And last I was with Mwawi, <laughs> he was my union leader at in 91. <laughs> and you were and, protesting. And he led me into a viva, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were tear gas. So good hey, to see you. <laughs> good to see you too, Honorable Minister. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Costa, the issue of subsidy. Yeah. Um, I was asked in a shop yesterday mm. by a woman, Cash fee subsidy fee ne mm -hmm. So indeed, everybody is saying subsidy, subsidy, subsidy. Mm -hmm. And we're assuming that everybody knows what we're talking about. <coughs> but uh, let's state what is subsidy. If you take a dictionary, which I did before I came here, the Oxford Dictionary, Costa, it will mention that the subsidy is when government intervenes in a product so that the price of that product becomes cheaper so that people can afford. Now, this particular subsidy called maize, well, to the viewers, my, my voters, subsidy, government in Gayawule Ndarama, Yabi Kamokuti, Ama products, Yabi cheap. Government in Katenga Ndarama, Kufaka Mu something, my goods, so that it's very cheap. So, government was taking money and putting in the maize so that Milimi was cheap. But you and I know the price of Milimi wasn't coming down, it was going up, despite government putting money in there. Now, First of all, this is not a surprise. Anybody who's read the PF manifesto will see in there, I think it's page 13, we condemned the MMD for their, the way they were handling the subsidy. So we said when we come into power, we'll come and change the administration of the subsidy. Change the administration. Costa, what is happening now? We promised the poor, uh, the, uh, the people of Zambia, especially the poor uh, groups uh, in the society, that when we come into power, we'll come and give you your wealth. 
will come and uplift your standards. But what is happening to the treasury coaster? Imagine a basket. You are sending me to go and collect water to bring to you. What will happen to the water in between? It drips. By the time I get to you, the poor citizen, the basket has no water. That water has gone to the one carrying it. It's mm. gone to, to it, it's, it's spilled over. So the treasury was leaking. Money was earned from the copper and elsewhere, but that money, before we can take that money and give to the people of Mtendere and give to the people of Karau, the basket would have no money. Why it would seep through this subsidy, which was meant to help the same poor people, but it wasn't. We've discovered it was only helping the millers, the middlemen, the commercial farmers, it wasn't helping the targeted people, the small scale farmers. So the intention was good to help the poor, but you tell me, Costa, um, Zambia, the economy has been growing 7%, and we have resources, everything is okay, we have good rainfall, we have the rivers in this re region of Africa and mm. Zambia, <coughs> so we are very wealthy, we are very rich. Just but tell me, mm -mm. why is our relatives in the villages still poor. Mm. Why are the people in Kalingalinga, mm. in Mtendere, in, in Chawama, in Chipulukusu, in Kalomo, in Dudumwezi, why are they still poor? The answer is because of this subsidy. So the PF government is trying to get this money to the poor Let's people. Let's quickly switch you in, you know, Mohavi Lungu. Um, He's explained, well, from, from, from a grammatical point of view, and he's, he's basically tried to run very quickly as, mm. as the, the PF's manifesto and their intention. The people on the street feel cheated. They mm. say the PF, like he said, promised them uh, pro poor policies. Mm. But now with this removal of subsidies, it means minimal prices have gone high. Mm. With the removal on fuel, it means uh, prices of certain, you know, uh, uh, related goods will, mm. will definitely trickle. Mm. Give us the historical perspective. I mean, you were privileged. Dr. Mm. Kaunda practiced the issue of subsidies. Frederick Chilwa came in, mm. Um, mm. did a reversal. Mwanawasa comes in, puts back the subsidies. And this is what, you know, uh, Minister Mao Sampai is saying that mm. uh, they are basically trying to undo what was bad with the energy yes, on yeah. the management okay. of these policies. Yeah. Uh, Costa, thank you very yeah. much yeah. Uh, for the question. And of course, thank you very much, Honorable Minister, for what you have said. But I, I want to make a proposal, Costa, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that we discuss this matter in a structured uh, mm. manner. Uh, so that we provide as much information as possible for the viewers and uh, don't end up with just platitudes and uh, nice sounding things. Uh, I, I propose just a short, I want to read you what I propose, how we handle this mm. and everything that the minister would like to say can fit within this framework so that we, get, we give maximum information to the, to, the, to the viewers. My proposal is that the first thing we should do is we must define what a subsidy is mm. and all its implications uh, without relating the issue of the subsidies to maize and fuel mm -hmm. so that we get uh, uh, the viewers to understand how a subsidy is in all other jurisdictions rather than Zambia and, 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 and let's quickly get there before you become no, the no, moderator no, no, because no, I will, I, I I will guide the moderator. interview. Yeah? Uh, listen, my brother, yeah. what I want to do is that I want mm. to prevent this because this is a very complicated issue. Mm. Yeah? I'll run it very quickly. Yeah. Two, I want then us to look at the benefits of the patriotic fronts mm. according mm. to how they think this will benefit the people. Mm -hmm. And then we can discuss that. Mm. Thirdly, we can then look at why the change of policy direction, which you already said, yeah. and I think the minister also alluded to, yeah. uh, that, that there has been a change in policy direction. Mm -hmm. I think that the people of Zambia want to know why the PF have made a change in policy direction. Mm -hmm. And three, then we can look at the historical context yeah. of it, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So if you will allow me to define the subsidy. Yeah, so let's, uh, uh, that proposal is more than welcome. So quickly, okay. uh, let, let's go into how you want to define the issue of subsidies, maybe as you also do that. Yes. Uh, you being an economist, from an economic perspective, yeah. uh, how, how do economies across the world that is what I want to you know, treat yeah. subsidies? I mean, because governments do this yes, to ensure right. that, that is, they help their that, people. That is what I want to do so that yeah. the viewers can understand and then Honorable Samba can either agree with me or disagree with me on what is the standard uh, practice, okay? <coughs> so, what is a subsidy? He's yeah. given a, what I would call a layman's definition of, of mm -hmm. subsidies. Mm -hmm. But to put it within the economic terms in a manner that Zambians will understand, a subsidy is merely money given as part of the cost of something. Mm -hmm. That is what a subsidy is. It is money given as part of a cost of something. Meaning if a product is going to cost 50 kwacha, mm. that a subsidy will say we will pay 20 kwacha of the 50 kwacha and the consumer will only pay the yep. balance of 
30 kwacha. The objective being? Yeah, the objective is this. There are four main objectives mm -hmm. of subsidies. Mm -hmm. uh, there are four main objectives. Mm -hmm. The first one, usually, is that it is a stabilization uh, policy, particularly as it relates to price stability. That is the first one. The second objective is that it is used as a stimulus plan. In many jurisdictions, a subsidy is used as a stimulus plan. That is the inverse of what you would call austerity mm -hmm. measures. Mm -hmm. So it's a stimulus plan. Mm -hmm. the, second, the third objective is that it is used to address market failure in economics. When the market has failed, you sometimes put a subsidy in order to address that market failure, mm -hmm. particularly when the market failure is in regard to a public good, such as maize mm -hmm. or fuel, the uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. The fourth reason that you would have a subsidy is as a welfare measure. Okay, so there are four reasons eh? mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 that are there. And I want the viewers and everyone out there who's been debating this issue to keep this in mind. Mm -hmm. Because everyone who has debated this issue so far have only limited themselves to discussing subsidies in as far as it concerns welfare. Not as it, as, as it concerns the other three matters which are all economic mm. arguments. Now, how is it done? And I'll leave it there for the moment and then the minister maybe can give. Because I want the viewers to understand this before we go into the nitty gritty. Mm. How how is it done? We've asked what it is. Yeah. Uh, We've how, uh, yes. Uh, why is it done? The objective. Mm. And now, how is it done? Mm -hmm. Again, there are four basic ways in which a subsidy is mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, it can be done through a tax credit. You can give a tax credit mm -hmm. as way of a subsidy. So a tax credit can be a subsidy. Two, a tax incentive to business is a subsidy. Okay, that is another way in which it can be done. Three, it can be done through deficit financing, meaning you incur a debt in order to provide a subsidy. That deficit in financing does not necessarily have to be uh, by borrowing from outside the market. It could be by rearranging the, 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 the structure of the budget that you already have, mm. deficit financing. The last one is you can have a subsidy through borrowing on the either on the open market mm -hmm. or on the international market like the euro bond, because that is actually boring. In this particular case, it's not going to pay subsidies, mm -hmm. but you can do it through that. Now, these are the, are, the, are, are the four reasons. Now, as we debate, I want the minister and the viewers to keep in mind of what I have said. Mm -hmm. Because when I give a historical account of why I disagree with what the PF have done, I want to argue these points and not just shouting from, from the thing. What the PF have said, and this is the bone of my contention, the PF have said that they are removing this subsidy only as it relates to the fourth argument of welfare mm -hmm. because they want to create a savings. Okay? So that that saving can then be done what? can be taken to infrastructure production. Is that correct, sir? Mm -hmm. that, that, that is correct. Now, the last point, I just want to leave it, and I can give it to them. Since I have done that, and I think that we can, we can do that. How do you define a saving in economics? A savings, in very simple terms, a saving is money that you do not spend on consumption. Or put it another way, a saving is money that is not expended. If money is expended, from one item to the other, man, that is it ceases saving. to be a savings. So let, let me yeah. finish, and, and, I'll, and I'll finish uh, that, mm. that one. If the argument is that they will generate a saving because they are cutting on a short-term measure of a subsidy in order to provide long-term benefits by spending, mm. it is not a saving. It is still an expenditure. What they are doing, basically, is changing the structure of the budget. And that must be made very clear. This is not a saving. It is changing the structure of the budget. That is where I will leave it for now. I hope that I've been clear, Minister. Very clear. And, yeah. and very clear. So, yes, so, so, respond, so, so coming yes, to you as, as, as you respond, uh, no. I think this is what the viewers want, want, want to hear this evening. You've explained, both of you, clearly what these subsidies are, how they are, they are applied, and, and the objectives. What is your intention as, as a government of removing subsidies on fuel and on maize? Before I answer that, yeah. let me quickly respond to him. We, we, first of all, I'm very keen that I narrow this debate to, to a level that my, my voters will understand. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drag them into semantics mm -hmm. uh, because then uh, we, I want them to understand it as it is. Mm. What Muabi said here, my colleague, um, are all correct, but they are not the only 
means, for instance, to, to create a stimulus package. Mm. You can use subsidy, but there are many other ways. Mm. You can use the monetary policy. You can use interest rates. Mm. So there are other ways to achieve most of those uh, uh, definition of the subsidy. Mm. Uh, let me pick up on your last point where mm. you said we are varying the budget. Um, you've got it wrong, Mohabi. We are not. What you need to understand, Costa and viewers, is that the budget for 2013 mm. will stick to it as, as it was approved in Parliament. We will stick to the income uh, estimate, we will stick to the expenditure. What needs to be understood with this uh, subsidy, fuel and maize cost, is that for the last five years, each time a budget is made, expenditure was up there. So it was always busting the budgeted figure for, for, for fuel subsidy and for maize. So what we are saying is we'll only stick to what is in the budget. What is in the budget for maize is for strategic reserves. Uh, I think 500 metric tons. That's what is in there. And I think it's 400 billion. But what we're saying is we'll not go beyond. Last year we were coerced into spending trillions and trillions. So the budget will stick to it. But what we're saying is we'll stick to the plan. We'll not because everybody creates a crisis. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, there will be hunger in the nation and they coerce government to expend off but, but But weren't, weren't these subsidies budgeted for earlier? They were. They were, they they were, were, budgeted, they were budgeted They were budgeted for. for. No, no, no. They what? were not budgeted for. We they were not in the budget. What is in the budget now, we'll honor it. But it's for maize, it's for strategic reserves, 500 metric tons. Yes. What was happening before is whatever is produced was purchased by government. Yes. Okay? Costa, let me make this point very, very clear. What was happening, what is important to the question is who was benefiting uh, from this subsidy? It's not you and I, because it's not the poor people that it was targeting. It was the middlemen. Maize, for instance, I'll tell you, Costa, when FRA has that, when a farmer produces this maize, FRA would be forced to buy, say, 50,000 per, per, per 25 kg. Okay? So FRA stocks at 50,000. A miller comes, they demand FRA to sell that maize to them at 40,000. So a commercial farmer who sold the maize to FRA at uh, 50,000, a commercial farmer owns a milling company, goes back to FRA and buys it at cheaper. So we are subsidizing those people. Instead of taking that maize in the milling mill and sell it to you and me at a cheap price, they would still sell the maize at uh, the milling mill at yeah. the expensive but, price. Okay, but, yeah. Let me the help. Price, very, no. Yeah, let me Very help. quickly. Uh, first of all, I disagree mm -hmm. that uh, we, they are not restructuring the budget because they want to restructure the budget. And, and that 2014. Is, uh, yes, because I, I have the statement here mm -hmm. from the Honorable Minister, and we can read what, uh, what is contained in there. Uh, uh, narrow down what it says. Yeah, no. But I, but I want to get to the second point now, because I think people understand what the subsidy is. Mm -hmm. The PF said, they have said, that is what they've said, they're creating a saving. I have destroyed that argument that is not a valid one. Secondly, they said that they are going to ensure that they provide long-term benefits for the people. Mm -hmm. They have acknowledged, President Sata has acknowledged that this is a harsh measure. They have acknowledged that this is an expensive measure. Now, the answer I want him to, to answer my colleague is that the greatest accusation that was given to the MMD by the PF mm. was that the MMD was preoccupied with the GDP figures, with statistical numbers, with GDP with plus inflation, rating. with B plus rating, <laughs> and that we were, we were boasting, we were boasting that the economy was expanding while the people were getting poorer. Mm. That is what they said. Yes. They said, when we come into government, we will ensure that we will not be preoccupied with macroeconomic indicators and GDP figures mm -hmm. and setting the price by the market, which this is. This is setting a price by the market. When mm. you remove a subsidy, what you are saying is that the price is being set by the market. They said that the MMD were careless, we will come in, we will be socialist inclined, mm. and we will in fact put more subsidies. So what could happen? So that our ratings on the Human Development Index could go up as they had been declining. So that the incidence of poverty in the rural areas would do what? Would drop. Mm -hmm. So that people have more money in their pocket. This 
policy which the PF has implemented has got the effect of reversing everything that they promise. Less money in people's pockets, uh, that meaning, uh, meaning that the market will set the price so that the prices of fuel will go up, the prices of minimum will go up, and then they say, but it's okay because there's a long-term benefit. Mm -hmm. What long-term benefit? Let's, let's just end it there. Uh, keep your thought. I want him to come in with this question. Uh, okay. as, as, as you want to respond to him, yeah. uh, from what all of you, are, both of you are explaining here, in my understanding, if you say a subsidy, one of the objectives is to use it as a stimulus package. It is one of the objectives. All right. And that is so, why, so, why so we're if, using if we are subsidizing fuel, for example, we, 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 we are hoping that the price of fuel will be cheaper for people to produce more. Yes, that is right. For people to produce that more. That is right. If, if maize production is cheaper, we want people to produce more and yes. feed the country. Minister, people feel cheated. They are saying you've lied to them. President Sata in the opposition, like he has rightly put it, blamed the MMD for fuel shortages, blamed the MMD for fuel hikes. He traversed Lusaka with a, with a fuel container. Uh, mm. President Sata, I interviewed him personally, promised people that a bag of millimil will be cheaper. My question again, what is your objective for people to now buy millimil at 70 to 100 kwacha per bag and for fuel at almost 10 kwacha per liter? What is, the, what is the objective? Costa. The question to you is, first of all, has the price of uh, millimil gone up last few days? No, mm. it hasn't. What was it under the uh, MMD? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let no, me no, I'm finish. just asking. What was it under the MMD? Let me, let me finish. Okay. It hasn't in the last few days, mm. but in, it, 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 it went that's, up under that's the That's the point, mm. because the price is the correct one. This price of millimil now is the price without subsidy. The money was thrown into the system. It wasn't ending up. But that was in not the your houses. campaign promise. It was not the campaign, campaign promise. Okay. Okay. Was now let me we'll reduce the price of millimil because you we'll put money into your pockets. Because let me, let me, they are insensitive to the poor. May, may, yes, may, may, may I answer yeah. then, Costa? Einstein, Albert Einstein once said, mm. doing things the same way and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. Mm. Madness. Yes. Okay, if you mm. continue doing the same, same mm. things all the time, all the time you're doing it the same way, and yet you expect different results, then you must be insane. Mm. For 20 years, this type of subsidy was meant to help the poor people. That is incorrect. But, but look what has happened to the poor people uh, that index. Is, it's been increasing for the last 20 years. That is okay? incorrect, Minister. Go, go, go to the villages. That you and I, Costa, and people we see in, in Lusaka are not poor. I was in Calabo last two, two weeks. People there are cut off, no road, no everything. People are poor out there. People in Nawalia village, people in uh, Sinazongwe are poor. I've visited those people. They, 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 they've kept getting so poorer and them, poorer. So why make 20 them poorer? Years. Now, why make the them answer? poorer, mm. Minister? Why make them poor? Can if I, they are poor, can, can, why make them poor? Please go ahead. Yeah. Can uh -huh. I finish? Okay. So uh -huh. we don't want to do things uh -huh. the same way. We want to do things uh -huh. smarter and different. We are removing money from people's pocket, not the poor people. From rich people's pocket. That is from Mwabi Lungu's pocket. I'm not rich. And giving it to rich. poor but people. Minister, this is exactly the cry <laughs> of so many of Zambians. So many people. I'm not a rich person. person? I have to pay <laughs> 10 kwacha per liter, and I have to buy, buy a bag of millimol at a more expensive price. Let, for, make, for, make, make the fuel. viewers understand. Let, let, let make me the help. viewers understand. Let, what let is, me what is the rationale behind the, the rationale of the subsidies? How does it better my life? The rationale is to get this subsidy, this assistance to the poor people who deserve it. At the moment, it was being thrown all over. How money much money thrown. are we talking okay, let about me give where is it going? Costa, we are talking Costa. of a saving. Okay. Uh, we are talking of a saving mm. per month, my calculation indicates we are talking of a total of 300, estimate 300 billion. On fuel, we are looking at saving about 100 billion a month. On the maize, the entire process, we are looking at saving about 200 billion a month. But bear in mind, this money, most of it wasn't budgeted, okay? What we are saying on fuel, um, Costa, the we just passing on the cost of fuel as we buy it, as we import it from the Middle East, mm. if it's $10 yeah. per liter, for instance, we will come and sell it at $10. We're not making a profit or a loss. What was happening before, we buy it at $10, we sell it at $5, and government subsidizes. That money can go to help the poor people but in the compound. The, the price per barrel of oil just came down, international. The price for fuel in Zambia was pseudo. Mm. The price wasn't reflecting. Remember, the price had been going up, but in Zambia, we're not increasing the prices. Mm. Because 
our colleagues, the MMD, they were just bended on appeasement to win votes, not to do the correct thing. Is, is, we want, sure? we want to do are you sure the correct. What you want to do? We want to do the correct okay. things to uplift people out of poverty. We are taking the money out of pockets of rich people, rich commercial farmers, taking the money from rich and giving it to the people in the compounds. Very few will agree with you yes. because I will still come back to you, uh, Deputy Minister, to explain this to us, the Zambians and the viewers. Yes, many feel cheated. Many say you're leaving them more poorer than actually helping them. Costa, you look. Uh, no, 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 let, give me a chance to speak. You look better than what, you what, did two years ago. What, uh, what the minister is saying yeah. is ex exactly. It's very contrary to what they were promising. Mm -hmm. Their promise was people will be better off. Mm. The poor people will be taken care of. The policies which they're implementing are making people poor in the shorter term. Mm. And they're saying that these benefits will come in the longer term, mm. which was the argument and the accusation against us as the MMD. But let me go to the, uh, to the beautiful quotation that the minister has said. He said that the definition of insanity is what? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different set of results. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, and then, but he, he, but he made one a, a inaccurate statement mm -hmm. to say that we've been having this subtitle for the last 20 years. That is not true. We've been having it for how many years? Since under MMD. Under MMD since 2002. Okay. Only since Some 2000. Difference. No, 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 no. Make it no, 10 no, no. years. It's still no, no, no. Your policy. Minister, let me finish so that okay. people can understand. Then you can, uh, you can, you can uh, address it. That's fine. When. UNIP left office in 1991. Prior to UNIP leaving office in 1991, mm -hmm. we had subsidies, these sort of subsidies in place. Mm -hmm. The MMD, mm -hmm. under the first administration of Chilua, mm -hmm. where Michael Sata was a minister, mm -hmm. where Guy Scott was a minister, and where Honorable Alexander Chikwanda was a chief of staff at State House, decided to remove these subsidies mm -hmm. under the Chilua administration. Mm -hmm. The result of the removal of those, uh, of those subsidies was that there was incidence of poverty began to go up. Okay, there was such pressure from the community, from the uh, uh, civic organization, that this capitalism of Milton Friedman was too excessive. So when Manawasa came in 2001, there was a reversal of the policy to try and go back to the days of UNIP, which was a bit socialist. That is why these subsidies were then reintroduced under, the, under Manawasa's administration. The objective was to provide a cushion for the poor. Did they work? Yes, of course they work. And, and then, and, can I read you a statement? Up? Can I give you? A, uh, can I read you a statement Why was from? Okay, like let, that? let me read you a statement from uh, from the honourable. This is a statement which was issued by the Minister of uh, mm. of Education. Mm. Uh, it is signed here by Honourable Tsiching, uh, and he says, and, and I marked it, and I've read through all of this. Mm. He says, uh, let me find you the correct section. Mm -hmm. Farmer input support program provides production subsidies, not, not, not consumer subsidies. This is from the statement. Uh, uh, farmer input support program provides producer subsidies, mostly for maize grain production, to some 900 small-scale farmers. It has achieved a good measure of success in enabling Zambian people attain maize grain self-sufficiency and security both in household and national levels. In fact, the program has enabled exporters to neighboring countries, mostly from scales, small scale farmers. This is the Minister mm. of Agriculture in this statement here, which everyone should see. He goes well, further. Well, Please. Let, uh, I won't but, answer on his behalf. No, no, but this is your government. <laughs> that's minister. fine. This that's is fine. your government, yeah. That's fine. So, please, let us not tell people mm. that the program was ineffective. The Minister here is so, acknowledging that the program was ineffective. Okay. If, the, if the fuel subsidy was not ineffective, Please tell me why there is a proliferation of, uh, of, of, uh, of vehicle owners in this country. Any study in the world will tell you that where the price of fuel is low, the purchases of vehicles, whether it is in America or England, goes up. If the price of fuel goes down, up, the purchases go down. The productive sector, in all studies show that once you touch the productive sector, you remove the stimulus package, mm. you remove the capacity for the supply sector to provide, mm. then what you're doing is you are actually slowing down the pace of economic growth. Just and they don't understand this. The minister, you don't understand this issue, and you are rushing you because see? maybe you've been told by donors, or maybe you've been convinced by Honorable Not Chikwanda, Not but this is what you are doing. Not at all. Huh? There's many ways to stimulate mm. the economy, mm. and subsidies just one. I mentioned earlier on, there's interest 
interest rates, the, the people at Bank of Zambia know how to do it best when they want to stimulate the economy. Subsidy is just one of the many ways. But we're he discussing said, subsidies. He was reading the, the, the statement. Mm. From uh, the minister. Uh, yeah, pinning uh, out one success. Let me point out, small scale. We are not abandoning the small scale. If but, anything, but there's a talk. I agree with you. Let me, let me make my point. Let me make my point. But okay. we, 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 you we can actually read something else from the same statement we showed. Let, let him, let him. Yeah. No, no, because yeah. I don't want him. You see, <laughs> one of the problems. I don't know whether have, you memorized it. <laughs> no, no, I, I, have, I have read it. I, have I think it. that one of the biggest problems in this country, mm. uh, my brother, <laughs> is that we often are very verbose and start talking about general issues and not discussing specifications. I no. don't like doing that. No. I like to discuss the specifics. And everyone who has been going on radio shocks, who has been supporting the subsidies, have just been singing in yeah, the air let, without your respond but, to you. But you have to like to listen to other speakers. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. keep quiet, sir. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'll keep quiet and listen <laughs> to you listen. now. The small scale will not abandon them. There's a program at the Ministry of Agriculture that they are calling e-voucher. Somebody was accusing me of coupons. I never spoke of coupons. I said, we'll not abandon the small-scale farmers. There's a program of e-voucher, and the minister there of agriculture is commending it. Yes, we'll go in there and continue supporting them with seeds, the small scale, so that they produce uh, the, the strategic reserves. Mm. The rest will have to play with the market. Mm. Now, he mentioned their success during the MMD time, and he wants to bring on the other ministers. The president was in MMD, the minister of finance was in MMD. That argument was there before election. It was taken to the campaign platform. It didn't. Zam Zambian people did not listen to it. So don't bring it here because we're looking at the issue now. What happened in MMD and UNIPI time? The Zambian no, people are not interested.